Hey, what's going on? It's Mr. Garfield here, and we're going to be looking at a Cape Integrated Mathematics question, okay, from the specimen paper under the calculus section. So this is module three, all right? We're going to be looking at area under area between two curves, all right? Area between two curves. So let me just change the heading here. Press the area between two curves. Okay, great. So here the question says a machine part can be modeled by the shaded region bounded by the functions f of x equals 10 minus 0.5 x and g of x equals 0.5 x squared and the y axis as shown in the diagram below. Great. And here the question says that we are to determine the area of the shaded region. All right. Now, let us write our solution here. Okay, so solution. Now, whenever you're finding the area between two curves, right? When you have a, a straight line, let's look, look back at the diagram here. Here we have a straight line, 10 minus 0.5x, and we have a curve, all right? A uh, parabola here, which is 0.5x squared. Now, whenever you have a line and a curve, and you're asked to find the area of the shaded region, right, which is the area between the two curves, then all you have to do is to remember this simple thing here. The area of the shaded region, all right, so the area of the shaded region, it's in the diagram, is going to be equal to the area of the straight line minus the area of the curve all right that's all you have to remember and the reason why is because the area of the line is going to be greater than the area of the curve so you just so we know, know that it is the area of the line minus the area of the curve all right so you have to remember that great so let us know write our area here. So the area is going to be the integral. So whenever we're finding area, all right, in calculus, we use the integral. Now let us look at the limits. What, are, what is going to be our limits? So here, the area here starts from zero to this point here, which is four, all right? So we're going to integrate from zero to four, okay? Those are going to be our limits. All right, and whenever we look for the limits, we'll look at the x-axis, okay? So it's going to be the area from 0 to 4 here, all right, of the line, okay? The line is f of x, okay? So our line is f of x. We're integrating that with respect to x minus the area of the curve, okay? Now the limit is still going to be from zero to four, all right? And the curve is g of x. And we're integrating that with respect to x, okay? Great. Let us now continue. So our area is gonna be equal to the integral from zero to four of f of x, that's our line. And the line that was given in the question to us is 10 minus 0 0.5x dx minus the integral from 0 to 4 of the curve g of x, which is 0.5 x squared. And we're integrating that with respect to x. OK, great. That is our area. Now I'm going to combine these two integrals. OK, so let me just put a recall here. So recall, if you have the integral from a to b of f of x dx, minus the integral from a to b of g of x dx, then I can write that as the integral from a to b of f of x minus g of x, all right? So the integral of that with respect to x. And the reason why I can do that is because you recognize that the limits are the same. Both of these integrals are, are from a to b, right? So I can just combine them all right, so that's f of x and then the minus sign g of x, okay? So 
what I'm saying here now is that I can say that the area is gonna be equal to the integral from zero to four, all right, my f of x, which is 10 minus 0 0.5x minus my g of x, which is 0.5x squared dx. Okay, great, that is my area. So let us now calculate this definite integral, all right? So this is now gonna be equal to, we just integrate first and then apply the limits after. So we integrate 10 with respect to x, we get 10x minus, so we integrate 0.5x with respect to x, we get 0.5x squared divided by two. All right, so we we'll add one to the power. So this is to the power of one, so you add one to the power and divide by that power. Minus, when you integrate 0.5x squared, you get 0.5x to the power of three divided by three. All right, so you add one to the power two, so you get three, and you divide by three. And we're integrating that now from zero to four. All right, those are our limits. So we'll put those on the outside. All right, great. So what we do know is to just substitute the upper limit and then minus the lower limit. All right, let's do that here. So we'll substitute the upper limit, that's x equals four, so you get 10 times four minus 0 0.5 times four squared and then you divide by two minus 0 0.5 times four all cubed divided by three minus, we substitute the lower limit now, so that's x equals zero. So that's 10 times zero minus 0 0.5 times zero squared divided by two minus 0 0.5 times zero cubed divided by three. Okay, good. Now, if I put 10 times 4 minus 0 0.5 times 4 squared over 2 minus 0 0.5 times 4 cubed over 3 in my calculator, I will get 76 divided by 3 as my answer. Okay, minus, now this is 10 times 0, which is 0, minus 0 0.5 times 0 squared, which is 0, minus 0 0.5 times 0 cubed, which is also 0. So you recognize that the expression there in the in the second bracket, there is actually zero. So the area is really 76 minus three, 76 over three minus zero. So the area is just 76 over three squared units, all right? Remember our area is in squared units, squared units. Area is measured in squared units. So that is our answer for this question, all right? So just remember when you're asked to find the area between two curves like this, all right, it's gonna, it's gonna be the area of the line minus the area of the curve, okay? Good, and that is our solution to this question from the 2015 specimen paper. All right, I hope that it was helpful, and if it was, please ensure to like of the video and subscribe to the channel. I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador for the University of Technology Jamaica, and I'm a mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.